In 2001, I became ill while participating in a bodybuilding competition. It would be two days, two emergency room visits 150 miles apart, and an exploratory surgery before they found the cause of my illness. My appendix had burst, and by the time they found it, I was a mere six hours away from near certain death. The terror that I felt, not knowing what was wrong, was quickly replaced by a sense of profound hopelessness once I realized the gravity of my situation. I would most certainly be losing my business and my health would never be the same. Once the breathing tube was removed, the nurses and doctors had encouraged me to start sitting up and taking short, frequent walks to help clear my lungs and rebuild my strength. But quite honestly, I wasn't interested. I had given up. Then one day, a nurse by the name of Barbara came in. She took my forearms into her arms, into her hands. She looked me in the eyes and she said, do you want to live or don't you? Do you want to live or don't you? Then you have to get up and you have to start walking. Viktor Frankl says, he who has a why to live for can bear with almost any how. I remembered a promise I had made to my son who was finishing up his kindergarten year. I was scheduled to be a chaperone for his bus trip to the Erie Zoo, a mere four weeks away. I always keep my promises. And so with that in mind, and with that to be my why, I got up and I started to walk. It was no easy process, let me tell you. I was so weak, and my organs would all make this awful sloshing sound and feel when I moved. It would take me a half hour, 45 minutes just to psych myself up to get my butt out of that bed, but I did. I took my rolling IV stand, and I walked. Nine days later, they released me from the hospital, and I continued to walk at home. And I made it to the Erie Zoo with my son. I kept my promise. Admittedly, if the school district would have known the gravity of my situation, the fact that I still had a five inch open incision, when I made that bus trip, they probably would never have allowed me to go. But I did go and I made it thanks to Barbara. BJ Palmer says, we never know how far reaching something we may think, say or do may affect the lives of millions tomorrow. That certainly was the case for me with Barbara. By caring about me, by forcing me to get up and start walking, I lived 24 years now. I made it to every single major event, play, choir, certificates, everything through elementary school, junior high, senior high for both of my children. I would have missed all of that without her. I took care of thousands of patients during those decades. Everything that I accomplished would have never existed without that. I call it exponentializing the good. You never know what impact you're going to have on the lives of others. It could be positive, it could be negative. By striving to always make it positive, to leave a positive imprint on everybody, it goes out and, and touches the lives of millions, literally. Some people find their strength by taking from others. I find my strength through lifting others up, through giving. That's why I make these videos. And I hope that they've inspired all of you to be, do, have more. I want you to be more giving to one another. I want you to do everything you can to help those around you. And I want you to have more compassion, first for yourself, and then by default, 
for all of those around you. Thank you to everyone who's followed me on this journey and who's watched these videos, Three Tats and a Tail. This is going to be the final one for a while, for this year anyways. I love you all, and we'll see you all again next time. Thank you.